What's up peeps, Mike Vips here. Today I have a 24 millimeter RDA to show you guys. And this one right here was sent to me for the purpose of this review from Vape. It is the Ocula, designed by Twisted Messes. Yes, the Ocula. Twisted Messes, yes. Usually Twisted Messes does his own products. This time he decided to collab with Vape for this Ocula RDA. It's gonna come in stainless steel and then black. Let's go straight to the dive down. I'll show you guys the RDA. We'll do a coil installation, cotton, come back, vape it, and I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Ocula RDA. And here's the packaging, the Ocula RDA by Aug Vape and Twisted Messes comes in. Inside the packaging, you're gonna get a user manual. You also get this baggie with some extra O-rings, an Allen key screw, and a squonk pin, and the Ocula RDA. So we have 24 millimeters, Two different colors. There's gonna be a stainless steel version that you see here, and also this black version. There's the bottom of the RDA. It does say Aug Vape Twisted Messes. We have our gold plated 510. Protrudes out more than enough for hybrid connection. Your negative post screw. And on the bottom, they also have the Ocula logo going on. There's the front of the RDA. We have the Ocula logo. And I like the way they did this here. This little indentation in the center. Very nice. Our airflow, there's our airflow openings. We've got some knurling there. A10 drip tip on top. Let's pull that drip tip off. As you can see A10. This is a Delrin drip tip with like a, I'm not sure if that's stainless steel or if something that looks like stainless steel, a little trim going on there. Nice little touch. All right, let's check out the airflow on here. If I turn, I think it's that way. Oh, wrong way. I think it's this way maybe. Close off one side. The other side's open, so you do have a single airflow control option with this. But if you want to, you could always cut down the airflow on one side. It'll be the same on the other side. And it's also got a notch system, which I'll show you guys, to where when you do cut down the airflow, you could actually center and put both of these two holes right in the center of the coil, which is a nice feature with the RDA. There's the inside of the top cap, and that's what I was talking about. It's got this locking system, but it's got this much play, so you could adjust your airflow like I was talking about. So you got that channel there. Push this all apart. And there's your airflow control ring. And there is the build deck. All right, so we got clamp build deck. I mean, this thing is just beefy. So that locking system that I was talking about, the notch, this is the actual pieces that glide inside the notch. You got one on that side, one on that side. We have double O-ring. You look down in the juice well, you do have the Ocula logo also in there. I like the way that came out, looks nice. Your squonk obviously would happen from here when you have the squonk pin installed. On top we have like this hexagon flathead slash Phillips head screws, and this is they're huge. And also as you can see there, as you're unscrewing it, the whole clamp, I mean you could do this with your fingers, the whole clamp rises. And the way I see them doing it, you could see there's an actual pin right there. And that pin, if I'm not mistaken, they actually set it through the screw. So this way, it's floating, I guess, in the screw. I'm not sure how they did it, to tell you the truth, but I don't know. Look at that, the way it just works. It has something to do with that pin right there. Come to think of it, yeah, that's the only way they could have done it. That pin somehow was locked into here, but it could float all around inside the screw. But yeah, pretty cool. I like the way they did that. Juice well on here is about 5.5 to 6 millimeters deep. All right, we're gonna put some coils in here. I'm gonna use some coils. Might as well use the ones that I got from AugVape, right? AugVape sent me some coils. Tricore Fuse Claptons, there are the stats. So what I like to do is with the coily tool, these notches here is for this type of build deck. So I'm gonna find where it fits in perfectly. As you can see, it fits in nice in 6.5, but I'm gonna cut them at six. Now that I got both post screws fully open, I'll grab both of my coils and I could just slip them right in. All right, get the first one in place, get the second one in place. And this is the hard part. Your, be your best bet is to have two coiling rods. You see what happened to me? They'll fall right in. Those openings are just massive. So I recommend using coiling rods when installing your coils. So as you can see, I have both of the rods holding the coils right where I want them. That's where I'll grab my screwdriver and start tightening them down. And there we go, got that first one done. Let's crank this one down. That's the one good thing about this. These screws are just awesome, just for cranking down your posts. I love it. There we go. 
Next thing I'll do is pull the coils up. There we go. There you go, looking good. And as you can see, I lifted the coils up. You can see the way I got them positioned. I want them to pretty much line up with the airflow. There you have it. Now we got the cotton all situated. I'm not going to really give it a comb out. It's pretty low inside there. Just going to place that cotton right inside the juice well. The same thing on this side. And what I want to do is I want to leave an opening right through there. All right. So if you need to cut the cotton a little bit more, don't be afraid. Pull the cotton out. Give it a little bit more of a trim if you need to. And there you have it. Liquid I'm going to be using is some boysenberry ice cream, Drip Fiends. Gonna get some liquid on there. Now, one thing that I will state about this RDA is the uh, actual cap is tight on there with the O-rings. So make sure you lube up them O-rings. There you go, all lubed up and ready to go. Grab that top cap, we'll slap it on. You will have a little bit of excess liquid. Just wipe it all off and you are ready to vape. All right, guys, that was the Ocula by Twisted Messes and aug vape. Let's go back up on top, let's vape on it, and I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it, the up close. Ocula RDA aug vape and twisted messes. Mike, your thoughts on this one, please. Build came out to a 0.12 resistance. And people are gonna ask, that is the Overlord mechanical mod from Russia. Pros and cons, let's start off with cons. I didn't find anything major to say cons, more of Subjective cons. Number one's gonna have to be no 510 drip tip adapter with this one. Would have been nice to have seen one for those people that like to use their 510s. But yeah, if people use their 510s, most likely they got adapters from other RDAs and you could use it on here because it does use a 10 drip tip. And another thing worth mentioning about the RDA, you have to be, you have to fine tune the airflow because in certain spots, you'll get a little bit of a whistle sound. It's a very hint, but just by turning the cap, you'll be good to go. And that's where it brings me to that pro to where it has that feature where I could line up the holes, whether I have three open, two or one, I could line it up right onto the coil, similar to what the drop dead RDA had. Remember the drop dead where it had where you could line up, if you cut down the airflow, you could line up the open part to be right at the center of the airflow. Well, you could do that with this one. Let's do some pros on this RDA. First pro is gonna have to be the looks. I think it's a sexy RDA. I love the way it looks. I love the indentation of the cap. I love the drip tip on here. Just looks sexy and clean. Big pro in my book. Another pro is gonna have to be obviously adjusting the airflow where you have that option to line up the coils. Locking system, pro. Another pro is gonna have to be single coil. Yeah, even though nowadays there's so many single coil RDs, I don't think someone's gonna buy this to do a single coil, but it does have that option with the airflow to do a single coil. Pro. Another pro I'm going to give them is the screws, the actual post screws, nice beefy screws. You don't got to worry about these stripping. That's why you don't get any extras in a package. No need to, even though you can't really remove these. So I like the way they did the screws, the way it raises the posts up and down. And like I was trying to describe how it's done, it looks like they got a pin inside there and it's kind of connected and that's how it's going up and down inside there. Big pro. I love the way they did that. And it's a known fact with other clamp systems like this. There was like the Warrior RDA. Uh, who else did it like that? Similar. The Apocalypse. Stuff like that. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of this kind of build deck that's in here. But it's when those coils are in there, they're secured down. And you could put some nice big builds. You could put any build you want inside this build deck, which is a pro. Now, when it comes to squonking on this, I did put this on a squonker. I used it. I had no issues with it. As long as you don't over squonk, you don't have to worry about it. Now, obviously, if you're going to over squonk in this, it's got big holes. You just turn it a little bit on the side. Yeah, it's going to leak right out of there. For me, I consider this a dripper. For me, that's the way I like to use this RDA as a dripper. Now, airflow. Let's do it now. Fully open on here. Oh, one more thing I wanted to say. I almost forgot. The O-rings, when you first get it, they're going to be tight. 
make sure to lube them up. Don't try and force it down. Your O-rings will pop off on you. You'll tear an O-ring. So you have to make sure you lube up the O-rings, especially the ones on the build deck. You, not the one that's for the airflow control. It's perfect. For the build deck, make sure to lube it up. Fully open. Let's have a vape. Way, way too much airflow for me. Now, maybe about a year and a half to two years ago, I loved having this kind of airflow just fully open. I loved it. Nowadays, I'm more of that restrictive. I want that restrictiveness in my vape. Thank God we got airflow control so I could cut it down. I like cutting down one of the holes. Or what I like to also do is maybe go half on the, on the, sec, the middle hole. Do half of it. I'm going to do one right now. One hole, cut down. Nice vape, restrictive. Flavor on this is real good. Flavor rating for this one here, I'm going to have to give it out of a 1 to 10 scale and 8.5 for flavor. Getting some pretty good flavor from this RDA. All in all, pretty good RDA. The only thing I recommend is uh, this RDA is more for, got to have some kind of experience with building. Uh, also, not really building, coil placement and patience. You have to have patience. Obviously, you're going to have to be using coiling rods. It's car hard to pre-cut your coils, put them in there. They'll drop on you. Don't get discouraged. Make sure you have a couple of coiling rods. Hold them right in place. Tighten it down. Then adjust it. Adjust your coils out, you know, to match up with the airflow. And you'll have a pretty good vape with the Ocula RDA. Price on this online, I'm seeing it anywhere from $35 to $40. Elementvape.com, I think, has them for $33. I'm not sure, but you can always check them out. And I think myvpro.com also has them in stock right now. Stainless steel and black. In the description below, no links to none of these products because I'm not allowed. It's a YouTube policy. Just my links down below as always. That's it. I'm done. Thank you. And remember, keep on vaping. Focus, Steve.